Carrie, thanks. Sure. Former mob boss Joey Morlino was just back in Philadelphia for the first time in 12 years to attend his father's funeral. As Fox 29's Dave Schrattweiser reports, Morlino may be a Florida resident, but he's still at home in Philly. Mob boss Joey Merlino is used to knocks on his door at all hours of the day and night. Sometimes it's friends, sometimes it's the FBI. This time, Fox 29 came knocking at his new South Florida home. But apparently, Merlino doesn't want to deal with the media these days and wasn't in the mood to talk to us. From my own observations, he's now enjoying his, his family uh, in a new home in Florida, uh, is bothering nobody about anything. While we didn't catch up with Merlino in Florida as he and a friend drove away in this Cadillac Escalade, we did catch up with him in South Philadelphia just two weeks later. Merlino was in town for his father's funeral. Former mob underboss Salvatore Chucky Merlino died in federal prison after more than two decades behind bars. Joey, right there. The funeral attracted Merlino's old mob running mates, minus the half dozen that are now on trial for racketeering downtown. While they came to pay their respects in South Philly, our cameras were rolling. Acting mob boss Steve Mazzone was there, holding court outside the funeral home. So was mob captain John Changlini, mob soldier Mike Lancelotti, and wise guy Anthony Nicodemo. South Philly is a tight, insular community. Everybody knows everybody. Hurricane Sandy's fury had delayed Merlino's father's funeral several days, leaving the mob boss in town for more than a week. Sources say Merlino's first trip back to Philly in more than 12 years was a productive one. He got to spend plenty of time with the local wise guys, even though he's still on probation from his racketeering conviction. He's been around, but it was all uneventful, absolutely uneventful. While Merlino may have been reminiscing with his old mob pals under the watchful eye of the feds, insiders say current mob business was more than likely discussed during his stay. His lawyer says that's nonsense. I hear that he he was running the mob from prison. I hear that uh, Ralph Natal really wasn't the head of the mob. I've heard all sorts of stories like that. But any time I, I ask a single question back, can you tell me what your factual basis is for that? What is the evidence of that? Nobody has an answer to that. While Merlino was touching base with his South Philly crew, Miami Herald investigative reporter Julie Brown cautions that Merlino's South Florida connections are shaky at best. There's no sense of loyalty here, and uh, I think he's going to have trouble with that. Former Newark, New Jersey organized crime investigator Mike Russell, who spent years watching the mob and the past 18 months watching Merlino in Boca Raton, is even more skeptical about Merlino's power and influence in South Florida. He's just skating on thin ice, Joey is. Russell has tailed Merlino everywhere in South Florida, from the gym where he worked out to the restaurants where he likes to eat the local cigar bars, even to the exclusive Boca Club Resort, where Merlino had an invitation-only 50th birthday party under tight security. Russell says Merlino loves the nightlife, and the locals love to hang out with the so-called John Gotti of Passyunk Avenue. John Gotti used to be significant down here years ago, like in the late 80s, he was doing business down here. Okay, so he got respect, um, but this guy, no. Miami Herald reporter Julie Brown says the head of one South Florida organized crime family is not happy Merlino is here. Nobody wants heat down here. None of the, the longtime mobsters. I mean, we have the Russian mob down here. Or, you know, we have, um, you know, Latin mafia down here. We have everything. You can, I mean, New York mobsters down here. And I think the key is that he's got to really watch how he maneuvers himself. So while Joey was renewing old ties in South Philly this month, Brown says his new ties in South Florida seem to be more like loose ends. Some of the people he is associating with are, are, are you know, pretty, they, the, I'm sure the police are watching them. He's trying to connect with whoever he can connect with and get something going here. I think that uh, for a period of time, as long as uh, Joey's name keeps getting uh, bandied about uh, in the media like this, uh, people will have those thoughts. Uh, that doesn't mean there's a blessed thing to them. And you've seen nothing or heard nothing about any government investigation or anything like that of Merlino at this point? Nothing has been brought to my attention, and I'm his lawyer. Mob insiders say after our story aired last week, Merlino was asked to move out of his $400,000 townhome in Boca Raton. Apparently, the story generated too much heat. 
Insiders also say that during a recent trip to Los Angeles, Merlino may have signed a deal to sell his life rights for a book and a movie. Finally, Joey is back in Florida, lying low, hoping all the heat that goes with being a mob boss will die down. Dave Schratweiser, Fox 29 News.